the opening week was getting ready for this Kentucky game? I think it was uh, very productive, obviously, to get some guys back healthy, get some guys some rest that have been some high mileage guys, um, you know, getting them off their feet a little bit and, uh, you know, giving them, you know, a little bit of reps, but also make sure we're taking care of them. You know, a guy like Mike Woods, I think he played 71 snaps uh, receiver in the A&M game. That's a lot. And so being able to give him a little bit of a break and, and still get some other guys some work was good. Um, really took a step back and worked a lot of fundamentals, uh, tried to get better, got some technique stuff, um, had a little bit more indie time in practice, um, and as well as, you know, balancing out and start working, working on Kentucky. So it was a good week, uh, but excited to get back into game week this week. I guess to get all your starters back, I guess with your three wide receivers and your tight end, I think you've only had two games where they've all been out there at the same time. Yeah, it feels good. Um, you know, um, it's always good to be healthy uh, coming off of a bye and getting, getting some guys back healthy. So um, we're, we're looking forward to having everybody pretty much at full strength and see what we can go do. Tyson Morris is a guy that's gotten extra reps with the injuries you've had. Not you're getting healthier. What what role do you see him playing? Just what have you thought about his play up to this point? What what's he doing to put up some some pretty good numbers? Yeah, first of all, uh, you know, we were holding out hope that Trey would play in the in the A and M game and couldn't go. So um, you know, first of all, Tyson, um, you know, I can't say enough good things about what he did and was able to play a position that really he hasn't practiced a whole lot. Uh, it just shows you that he is preparing himself, that he's working extremely hard uh, at preparing mentally at every position. And I think that, you know, when you're a guy like Tyson, a guy that's very versatile and can play uh, multiple positions, you've got to be able to know what you're doing to get in the game. And um, if somebody does go down, you can fill in that spot. So uh, I think, you know, Tyson, we're going to, again, we had guys play 71 plays at receiver. That's way too mu many. And so, um, you know, I think more than anything, um, you know, just getting guys a break and being able to use a guy like Tyson and other, other guys that we're trying to get back healthy, that will help our guys be a little bit more fresh in the fourth quarter uh, so they're not playing the whole game uh, out there. That's, that's really tough to do. So um, I expect, you know, him to continue to get a lot of snaps and, and help us and um, as much as he's been helping us you know, the first couple, you know, first couple weeks. He is, I mean, not really a surprise this year, more last year um, in our year one. But, I mean, I, he made some plays last year. You know, he uh, caught a couple touchdowns, I believe. I remember him making a heck of a catch on the side, our sideline last year. I want to say it was against Alabama. So, I mean, he's shown, he's shown to be a guy that we can count on um, in year one. I think more of a surprise last year than this year. Are you how much can you count on Ty Clary and Colton Jackson this week? And also just what kind of progress did you feel the off week did as far as getting some depth in the offensive line? Yeah, I mean, it was huge, just like it was at all positions to get guys reps that hasn't got a whole lot of reps. But uh, I, I fully expect Ty and Colton to be back and be ready to go. Um, you know, I, I would be shocked if they didn't play. So um excited to get those guys back out we'll know more later in the week but tomorrow especially when we're practicing but uh i think those guys will be fine this week hey joe what's your take on what kentucky's doing on defense and um the opportunity with a week off to you know put some new looks out there what, what do you expect from those guys yeah i mean they're they're um obviously coach stoops has been there a while uh and, and really implemented his scheme and um, you can tell um, they, they fly out of the ball, they run around, they're, they're huge up front. Um, you know, both, both nose tackles are 360 plus, 361, 371 is what they're listed at, I believe. And so um, they're thick inside, um, you know, hard to move. Um, you know, they're, they're, they do a really good job of, of uh, bull rush. They do a really good job of pushing the, pushing the uh, line back in the run game. So um, I'm sure they'll have a couple of different things that they've worked on in the bye week. And, uh, again, we'll, we'll have to make those adjustments in the game. What would it be like having Jordan Jones back this week, and what, what can he give you? Yeah, I'm hoping to have Jordan. I, I know the other day, um, coming out of practice, he was a little sore. Um, but, you know, anytime you can get a wide out back, again, you take reps off other guys and keep them fresh in the fourth quarter, like I was saying. But, uh, you know, Jordan, obviously, on film uh, from last year, especially, 
uh, on film he's shown to really you know be able to stretch the stretch the field vertically and run by people. So um, hopefully he's healthy and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to use him down the field. So how do you feel like Nick's doing coming off you know the injury he had against A and M and um, you know, he's got seven picks. What, 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 what do you have to do to, to cut down on the interceptions? Because he seems like he makes some real good plays, but obviously the, the turnovers, you know, are, are an issue. Yeah, I guess I got to coach better. Um, you know, make sure he doesn't do throw those interceptions and uh, do a little bit better job there of, of teaching him what we want on certain plays and taking that off of him. Um, you know, and 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 eliminating those turnovers maybe through play calls or or whatnot. But um, I think he's feeling a lot better. Um, you know, um, I think his elbow's feeling much better. He's, we wore a compression sleeve last week, so I fully expect him to be uh, full speed coming up this week. But uh, again, it, it, Nick's again. He's he's started certain. I don't know how many games now for us, but uh, he's still developing. He's still developing our offense. He's still learning, and that's things we can do to help him and take some things off of him and make it a little bit easier. So, were there freshmen on your scout team that haven't played yet who you've? been impressed with and think might work their way into game action? You know, um, we're, we're thinking, you know, a guy like Amante Spivey, you know, is, is close uh, to getting some, some game action. Uh, we're trying to, you know, bring on Bo Limmer, trying to keep continue to bring him on. Um, <clears throat> Brady Latham has done a really good job. Hudson Henry is getting closer. Um, you know, a guy like TQ Jackson, I know he's played in three games, but, um, you know, he's getting, he's getting closer to being able to take some more snaps. So, um, you know, there's a lot of exciting young guys. Again, they're just freshmen in the SEC, and it's, it's tough. It's tough to do what Traylon and Trey are doing um, and, and even Ricky. So um, those guys are going to be good players. They've just got to continue to develop. Henry's getting closer. What is it? In, in particular, that he's getting closer to, and, and what do you see? Need to see more of him. To, Just being more confident, uh, understanding that he he deserves to be here. Um, you know, this is he's a he's a good player. He's just again, he's young and. And just understanding that, hey, you can you can do this. You can block those guys. You can run routes and win versus man coverage or win on a linebacker or whatever. He's he's really getting better and under, starting to understand and get a little bit more confident in himself uh, when it comes to those things. Hey, I want to ask you about two guys. One, uh, C.J. O'Grady, just the game he had, how it rates in terms of what you've seen from him. And then what did it mean to you that Ben Hicks came in and executed your game plan as well as he did? Well, uh, CJ, um, you know, had, is doing some really good things for us. Obviously, he's uh, being able to make some plays and, and, and even yards after catch has been pretty good. Um, wish we could have got him the last ball there in the very end. I think we win if we can get the ball off um, on the last play. And, you know, when, you, when you're in that situation, you're always thinking players, not plays, and trying to get the ball to one of your best players when the game's on the line. And, um, couldn't get it done, but was trying to get him that ball there in the back pylon. Um, it, it, and on well, Ben, I mean, it, it was it, it just shows you how tough that kid is. I've been telling y'all how tough he is uh, to lose his starting job and to come in in those cir circumstances. And uh, the, I think you saw how comfortable he was running the offense. I think you saw uh, how competitive he was when he pulled it down on third and 17 and ran for uh, 14, 15 yards, however long it was, 13 yards. Uh, to put us in a position to, to try to win the game at the end, um, but raking tackles. Uh, I think it just speaks to the kind of kid he is, kind of player he is, kind of character he has. Um, and again, I can't, can't say enough about him and, and all that he's done uh, to this point. KJ coming along, and how did he look last week in those extended periods? Yeah, KJ, guys? I mean, he got a lot of good reps. Um, uh, I was really excited about getting to work with him a little bit more obviously not trying to get ready for a game you can spend a little bit more time with him and um, even even last night we were spending some time so um, I thought he you know I thought he did take a big step last week honestly uh, getting some reps can scale getting some reps in team he did some really good things with his legs as well as sitting in the pocket and throwing the ball so um, he's just got to continue to learn mentally uh, he's a very sharp, smart kid. Um, it's just about doing it and repping it. And, uh, you know, he's got to know it in the meeting room. So what we've shared with him. you got to know it in the meeting room and take it out on the practice field and, and go do it and go execute it. So uh, he's getting closer with that. But I thought last week was a big step up for him and he had a really good week. Joe, aside from 
learning the offense, what are some other things that, that KJ has to work on or that you guys have, have worked with him, like mechanically or footwork, any of that stuff? Well, I mean, not getting into too much detail, but there's just certain things where, you know, I think he becomes a little inaccurate. He kind of bends at the waist a little bit instead of at his knees and trying to really work on his posture in the pocket. Uh, getting the ball out a little quicker. Sometimes he doesn't point the ball back and really get the whipping action of the ball. The ball kind of just stays there and it kind of pushes it. So there's certain things within his motion that needs to be cleaned up, not really fixed, but cleaned up a little bit uh, that I think will make him a little bit more accurate of a passer. And a lot of playing quarterback is with your feet. A lot of people, that's a big misunderstanding. Uh, that people think that it's all about your upper body, but it's really about getting your feet in a position that when you're, if, your feet, if your feet are in the right place, your hips are open and you're able to throw the ball, especially throwing the ball to your left. And that's one thing he's really worked on um, and we've worked on with him. So that's the kind of things we're kind of harping on him every day and really slowing it down in the meeting room and, and pausing it and slow mowing it and really showing him. Uh, but again, he's very smart. He's very cognizant. And we're doing drill work, bag, bag drill work, any kind of footwork uh, drill that we're doing. He already knows what I'm going to say before I say it. So that tells me he's on the right track and he's really learning. Uh, it's just about, again, getting those repetitions and getting better at it. With the red zone struggles, what, what have you guys kind of looked at with that and, and trying to improve uh, the scoring in the red zone? Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at it, I think the biggest thing is you just got to quit turning it over. I mean, um, that's, the, that's the main thing is, you know, just doing what we do. Again, everything kind of condenses when you, the closer you get in the goal line, obviously. And so, um, you know, we've got to be able to make plays on the perimeter, get the ball outside a little bit more. But the main thing is just taking care of the ball and understanding that, hey, every drive ends with a kick. That's our mentality. You know, it's okay to punt at times. Uh, but down in the red zone, it's okay to take a field goal as well, take those points. And I think if we did that last week, I think we have an opportunity to win the game. As far as Kentucky's defense, just what do you see out of it? And, you, and since they've had an open week, do you look for them to do anything different? Perhaps? Yeah, yeah. Uh, anytime you have an open week, I mean, we're going to do things differently. They're going to probably do things differently. I think anytime you get a little extra time and you get a bunch of coaches in a room uh, with with a little spare time, I think you're always going to draw something up uh, that you feel like is going to be pretty good. So I'm sure they'll have something. Um, again, very impressed with their their front, their line. Um, you know, they're, they're thick guys. They're, they're hard to move. Uh, my favorite player over there is number 56. I think he just plays hard. He's a senior. Um, you know, he plays extremely hard. He plays around the ball. You, tell, you can tell he loves football. He loves the game. Um, they do a really good job with him uh, running around. I like number four as well. I think he's a good young player for them. Uh, does some really good things. But I think the when you look at them, I think the strength of their defense is up front. I mean, they got two seniors and a junior up there. So, um, you know, that's, that's the challenge is just being able to, you know, corral those guys, get them moving early in the game and seeing what we can uh, do to, to have some success early. Thanks, guys.